Dmitry Skurihin in February 2023 went to a solo picket near his store in the village of Ruska Vysotska, Leningrad region, with a poster on which he wrote, Sorry, Ukraine. From February 26th, the man was kept in a pretrial detention center, and in April he was placed under house arrest. In May 2022, Skurihin was fined for the so-called discrediting of the Russian army, and then a criminal case was opened, accusing him of repeated discrediting. The state proceeded prosecution demanded that he be sent to a colony for two and a half years. The reason for this was the poster «Go to hell with your mobilization», which Skurihin posted on his store. Power of these several old evil KGB officers, imagine it well, it's their, relatively speaking, four or five old evil men led by Putin. Their Bortnikov, Patrushev, their I won't list yet, those who are actually now making political weather. You see, this is what the Russian state is like now. These evil peasants seem to think a lot of themselves, now they determine the weather. This is the most shameful page of history of our state. Former military psychologist Timofey Rudenko, who condemned Russia's invasion of Ukraine, was sent to a special detention center and tortured eight times in a year, and now a case has been opened for justifying terrorism. When I first came to see him in the special detention center on a date, it was a terrible stress. I myself am a teacher of history and social science and have always taught children that we have a democratic and legal state, and I was deeply convinced of this for the time being. Yulia Kiselova, mother of Timofey Rudenko, in an interview with Medusa. A taxi driver from Komsomolsk on Amur was sentenced to 18 years in prison in the case of arson of the National Guard building. On June 3, 2022, Vladimir Zolotaryov poured petrol over and set fire to the porch of the building. Zolotaryov was found guilty of preparing a terrorist attack and violence against a government official. I do not deny that I set it on fire, but I do not agree with the accusations of a terrorist attack. I did not want to harm anyone and did not violate the work of a state agency in any way. It would be unacceptable for me that there were victims and I did just that. I made sure that this did not happen. First of all, I needed to free my conscience and, of course, to attract people's attention to show that there are those who disagree. I don't know how to to protest in Russia and not go to jail. Vladimir Zolotaryov, resident of the city of Komsomolsk on Amur from the publication of Siberia Realities. According to Media Zona, since the beginning of the Russian full-scale invasion of Ukraine, military registration and enlistment offices and other state institutions in the Federation have been set on fire at least 113 times. In half of the known cases, criminal cases of this arson were investigated under articles on terrorism, reported by Roman Smoller, Yulia Bil, UATV News.